How you guys doing? Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. You are tuned in to weekend three of these Bellagio stand cut down builds, re rebuilds with my boy SC Aquatics. Let's get to work. But before we get to work, I want to give a huge shout out. Thank you to this man right here, SC Aquatics. You guys have heard it before. But I can't thank him enough for coming out and helping us with the, the stands. So if you are not following this man on YouTube, SC Aquatics, we will put the link in the description below. Go ahead and give this man a follow and uh, let's get, get him some subs out of this. As you guys can see, we've got the top to the second stand. He's got his grinder out. We're going to go ahead and grind this down. And then when we walk in here, we've got one of the stands ready to be tack welded. And we've got the second stand ready to be tack welded. I've got a few other guys coming to help uh, lift and carry these things out once they're tack welded inside on a level ground. We're going to bring them out here and basically burn them in. Well, here we are. Steven is already hard at work grinding these welds down. It won't take long with uh, the blade we've got on there or the grinding disc. We've got 18 points down along here. That we can go ahead and grind down. Then it's just welding left to do. We should have both stands done this weekend. So you know what that means? Bellagio tanks might be in that room by next weekend. It's a lot of work, a lot of dedication, but we are up for the challenge. So here we have this top is all grinded down. Steven's actually walking away from work right now. What are you doing, Steven? <laughs> He's grabbing a clamp. But in here, he's already started the work on the stands. As you can see, we've got blankets up over acrylic tanks and try and uh, shield the fish from seeing the light and or any sparks that are flying. He just started to tack each of these legs going down. So he's measuring each one, making sure it doesn't need filled or cut down any little bit. But it's uh, going smooth so far. Here is his uh, wet welder with the gas. And we are working down. Once it is tacked in place, we will take it outside to burn it in. Do the same thing to the second stand. And then we'll take them both outside. And then it's just uh, burning in both stands. And we are done. So here's Steven hard at work. He is almost done tacking this whole side of the stand. There we go. This is all coming together, guys, real quick. And I'm getting real anxious and real excited. These tanks have been a long journey but nonetheless it is coming together so right now he is going around and basically leveling the stand and tacking it so you can see at each one well here let's go down here and see what he's doing here see he's just doing a little tack in the very corner just so we can keep it in place and he's doing the tack at each joint and he's making sure the stand is level so we can then carry it outside and then he can really get to welding. Go on. Alrighty. Stand is tacked. We are now have it on rollers. We are trying to roll it outside. This is a heavy stand. Alrighty, roll her on out, guys. Nice and easy. Watch that stand next to you. You gotta kick the front on this there. Yep. There you go. Let me get out the way here. There we go. Nick, you can kick out more. There you go. There you go. So we got the stand out and it's off the rollers. Now Steven can go ahead and tech. We got our awesome little helper over here. He's our roller man. <laughs> He was actually not near the stands when we were moving it. Don't want nobody to yell at us. It was just cute. But as you can see, we've got the whole top side. You can see where Steven welded or tacked on each part of the, the weld on each stand or uh, each leg. So he's going to go back and hit all these tops. Well, like I said, he's actually going to bounce around so the thing doesn't get too hot. So he's going to hit a weld here, weld there. And he's going to keep jumping around. And he's going to work on this stand while I'm putting up soffit. So, back to work, Steven. 
All right, so we just flipped this stand over. Sorry, I'm not showing you the work in, in process, but got to help these guys do the heavy lifting. But you can see he did uh, three welds on each of these bottom bars. Now he can go back and hit the tops. He hit the, the bottoms on these all the way across, so now he can do the top U. Like I said, the bottom is already welded there. This is a bit warm, so I'm not going to lean on it too long. So he's going to go back and, you know, periodically hit these not in a row but he's going to keep bouncing around and this stand is almost done once the welds are done we can you know grind it down a little bit and make it pretty and repaint it and that's one stand done and uh tomorrow will be stand two right steven stand two and then we'll be done and then we gotta unwrap them bad boys up there which you can actually see they uh we had a very hot day the other day and I took my air blower and we're now blowing in air to keep the tanks cool. <laughs> Would you look at this guys? Stand one is completely done. We're not gonna go back and you know grind down the face of these welds. The insides I don't care about. We're just go going to you know wipe off and paint. But but the fronts for the aesthetics at least, I'm gonna grind this down to where it's flat and smooth, just like this. And stand one is done being welded. It looks great. Steven is actually gearing up right now to uh, start tacking and burning in stand number two. Are, are you almost uh, glad to be done welding these stands, Steven? It's the last day of the journey. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> what was supposed to be done in one weekend took us three weekends. Oh my goodness, that, this was a lot of work. And uh, Stephen is the man. There we go. So you guys can see Stephen is quickly out of spot so he can put his grounding rod there. So he can clamp the welding ground to it. And he's able to keep it in the center of the stand so he can go all the way around and weld the whole thing. All right, so the stand is tacked. We did lose all of our help, so it's just me and Steven out, out here with our dollies and, of course, a jack. We are getting it done. We had just moved that stand outside. Now we're getting ready to bring this one out and start welding it in. What are you doing laying on the floor, Steven? Did you just hit your head? <laughs> Super gluing stuff. Super gluing. No, we're welding. So we ran out of gas after we... Uh, tacked the, the stands together so we went ahead went up and we got a uh, welding wire with flux in it so we didn't actually need the, the, the gas the welds aren't as pretty but Steven still is doing a fantastic job I am working over here on this stand on grinding the the welds down so you can you know they're not nice and flat so when we paint them you don't see these big globs like this right here and you can see there's different parts that aren't welded he is jumping back and forth to try and disperse and distribute the, the heat from the, the welds, which is the proper technique. So thank you, Steven. So here we have it, guys. Both stands are done being welded. The fronts are grinded. And uh, all I have to do is go up and paint them so you guys can see. The front's all ground, not nice and smooth. Same on the other stand. The other stand happens to be painted. I ran out of paint though. Now we're just gonna move this into place. And we got so lucky. I will tell you how we got lucky here in just a minute. You can see I've got the jack under this side. We've got rollers under there. Now let's bring it on in. It's a tad bit more. We don't have the manpower we did yesterday, so we're just using rollers and jacks. All right, come on. Slowly but surely, with a little bit of the brains and some tools, we are good to go. All right. All right, now if we get the two rollers on that side, I can jack this up and reset your rollers over here. Okay. All right, so what we did here, I jacked this side up way higher so Steven can get rollers past the threat threshold. Now once those are in place, I will let this side down and uh, that should free up his uh, roller on the very end so we can finish sliding this stand in but we are going to put it right here you, you ready steven hey, let me straighten this 
seconds to glory, man. All right, good? Yep. All right, we're coming down slowly but surely. You've got hydraulic fluid in your jack. It's super easy to control, especially one nice and new like this. Got to love it. All righty, we are down. Jack is out on that end. It just popped out. We'll go back up. Now let's go in towards me. Look at that, like butter. No yelling, no nothing, no aggravation. This is easy peasy, man. Looks like you know what you're doing. <laughs> All righty. Oh, all right, I'm not going to be able to stand here and pull. You're going to have to push. I can help pull the stand. All right, we got another two foot. All right, stop there. All right, so the stand is in place. It's looking marvelous. So the, the, the good news I was telling you guys about, my dad was in here measuring. We moved that tank. We moved this tank two inches back against the wall and stopped the hoses from running behind. These Bellagios will be pinned up against there, pinned up against that wall, and it'll be a tight squeeze, but the tanks will sit here. We do not have to move this 550, and we do not have to move Pittsburgh. So that is a big plus. Steven, it's been three weekends of hard, grueling work that uh, we do appreciate. So uh, he is out of here for the day. He said, screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> I want nothing to do with OFR for another couple weeks. <laughs> but we are going to work on, uh, as soon as Steven's ready to come and take this 2000, that'll be the next move. Once that's done, we will go ahead and move the other stand in and start working on bringing the, the Bellagios in. So Steven, you've got to get this tank out of our way. <laughs> Take a weekend off and then I'll be back. Oh yeah. we got plenty, of, plenty to do and to build them. I just want to say a big thank you yes, to sir. SC Aquatics. I, I will link his YouTube channel in the, the, the description. So uh, if you're not not subscribed, please go go subscribe to this man. He's come up, get, given his time, his labor, and helped us out unconditionally. I can't thank you enough, brother. No problem. So until next time, stay fishy, my friends. friends.